wait two weeks, Florida's gonna be next. Just like Italy, wait two weeks. Well, hell, we're eight weeks away from that. What now? Shh. Boring a pandemic does not make it go away. That's why states like Florida are in such dire straits. Listen to its governor, DeSantis, boasting last month about what great shape Florida was in. You got a lot of people in your profession who waxed poetically for weeks and weeks about how Florida was going to be just like New York. Wait two weeks, Florida's going to be next. Just like Italy, wait two weeks. Well, hell, we're eight weeks away from that, and it hasn't happened. What now? Shh. Not going to hear him here. You won't see him here. Why? Because he's got nothing to say. When he had a chance to speak, he spoke too soon, he did too little, and now his state is suffering too much. New York's peak in daily cases was what, in April? The five-day average of daily cases hit almost 10,000. Terrible. Things here still aren't great. We're just moving in the right direction. Florida health officials reported nearly 10,000 new coronavirus cases on Saturday, its highest single day since the start of the pandemic. He made Trump happy, Governor DeSantis did, and now more Floridians than they can count accurately appear to be sick. More than half our states have growing cases now. 16 are currently having to pause or roll back reopenings because they did not do the right things the right ways. Texas, parts of California, bars have been directed to close back down. The Secretary of Health and Human Services says the window is closing for us to get this right. Even Pence, who you saw silently by DeSantis' side as he spewed nonsense, seems to be his strongest asset as an ally. Even he is now saying, you should wear a mask. That's good, since he's the head of the coronavirus task force. It's bad that he is only saying so now. But the really ugly reality is that Pence still sat there and enjoyed this maskless choir of more than 100 singing on Sunday. It doesn't matter if you're singing songs to the Lord. There is no commandment that thou shalt do stupid things in my name and get COVID. The main commandment, if you care, if you believe, was to love one another as I have loved you. Keep your distance. If you can't, keep your mask on. Wash your hands. At this rate, there is a real chance that quarantine may become the reality for more of us in this country. And for many of us, here's the scary part, a second time. It is possible you may see me in my basement once again. Why? because this isn't about being scared. This is about scaring us straight with the facts.